What's going on everyone? Moose here and today we're going to do another intro to another Air Max pellet gun. And I am super stoked for this one. This is something that uh, I requested from uh, Air Max Arms and they said absolutely we'll send you one. And uh, they did by way of Utah Air Gun. Thanks to Justin and all the guys out at Utah for, uh, and especially Mike out there at Utah for getting this to me. Um, I am super excited to show you guys what's in the case. And even though the title kind of says it, we're gonna talk about it next. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're gonna open this up and ta-da! The Air Max Cayman. This is the small Cayman. Um, I was just mounting the scope. It's not completely mounted yet, but there we have it, the Cayman. Now, when they asked me, um, or when I asked them about the Cayman, they were like, oh, you know, you want that in 22? And I said, no, no, no. I want it in 177. I want a ton of shots. I want nice, small, compact, easy to shoulder, easy to run around with. You know, I was just kind of messing around with the, the optics, which is why it's still loose. Uh, just getting it so that it's very comfortable to my, there we go, we're getting there. Uh, very comfortable to my body, my my eye relief and all that. Uh, this is the Element Helix uh, 4 to 16 by 44 first focal plane um, mounted on top of the um, Eagle Vision Infinity um, L50 mount. Um, so that way I can add cant if I have to. I don't think I'm gonna have to, uh, but I did like using this mount because it got the scope up high enough that when my cheek is here, I can see perfectly through it. Um, I had some other mounts on there and the scope was just a little too low. I felt like I was like tipping my head. Uh, so having that one piece mount kind of brought it up. Um, I still need to move it forward um, on, the, um, uh, on the rail itself, but uh, 300 bar filled gun um, comes with two magazines. And they were ultra awesome and sent me one of their new, this is their um, new moderator that they came out with. And let me tell you, it does absolutely make a difference. Uh, so certainly doesn't add that much length to the gun. Um, it's very, very quiet. It is very, very quiet. The wood is amazing feeling. Um, like I said, shoulders extremely well. It's just so comfortable. Um, you know, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to go with just the Cayman or the Cayman X uh, and get a little bit more length. I'm super glad that I went with just the Cayman, uh, being that it's the smaller of the two. Uh, it's ultra lightweight, um, beautiful. It's going to make a great pesting slash squirrel gun for this season. Um, and uh, I'm really excited to get it out and um, you know get it shooting. Um, I have not taken it to the range yet, but I did want to tell you guys about it. Um, so there's gonna be more coming up. We are gonna take it to the range. We're gonna see what it does at 25 and 50 yards. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll even stretch it out to 100. We will try slugs through it. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen with the slugs, but you know we will try it. Uh, it does come with a fill probe uh, with extra o-rings uh, as well as two magazines um, I love their magazines I really do love their magazines they're super easy to load um, there's plenty of room in there uh, to run slugs as well uh, so you know I'm excited to to see how that works out uh, we are going to stick with the helix on here um, and uh, as a matter of fact I even thought about running um, the, uh, um, <laughs> the little night vision, um, 
uh, attachment that I have uh, just to uh, check it out and see how it functions. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, the ergonomics are just so nice on this. If you guys have never felt one of these guns, you definitely need to. Um, everything is just such high quality. It's got a T-rail slot in the bottom here for, you know, if you wanted to put a bipod on it. Not really sure why you'd put a bipod on it. It's a pretty stout little gun. I mean, I guess you could if if you were, you know, had your bipod out here, you know, you could put an M-lock or, a, you know, some kind of T-rail bipod on there. Um, but, yeah, overall, um, the um, uh, safety uh, is convenient. It's right above the trigger. It's just a simple back and forth push. Um, it's a little loose. Um, but yeah, overall it's nice. Uh, it does have ambidextrous cocking. However, with the shortness of this gun, I feel like the cocking lever, uh, over here is ideal, um, for those quick follow-up shots. Um, you know, we could put it over here, but, um, I just feel like that's actually, this is one of the only guns that I would say, uh, I like the cocking lever, uh, on the left, um. So it, it's like I said, though, it's very, it's very, very soft. Um, it is very soft. So anyway, with that being said, I'm Moose. Check these guys out, Air Max um, Arms. You can find them at Utah Air Guns, as we talked about before. Uh, you guys know how to find them. Um, we had such great luck with the Crate X that uh, I just wanted to continue um, the relationship with uh, Air Max Arms, and I'm telling you right now, the Cayman is absolutely wonderful. Um, these barrels are amazing. The gun build quality is amazing, and uh, I couldn't ask for, in my opinion, a better small game kind of setup. You know, just that nice, lightweight, easy to... Uh, you know, manipulate and carry around. Um, definitely capable of a single point sling uh, up on the front here, um, you know, and just kind of add your own um, sling mount there uh, off your pick rail. Um, just super, like I said, super lightweight, easy to walk around the woods, um, you know, even just to, you know, carry it by the underside, you know, part here. Um, you know, just walking along. Uh, I feel like that's a, a very comfortable grip place for it, but either way. We'll bring you guys more on this thing coming up really, really soon, so stay tuned, and we'll talk to you guys later.